Hey everybody, welcome back to Miasma Chronicles. Uh, we have an opportunity to get the jump on these guys. Uh, they are attacking somebody that we know. They're Skull Crushers and Scouts. And, oh, maybe we have some high ground here, potentially. Is this a thing that we can climb? Probably not. Okay. Okay. Let's look to set up somewhere. Oh boy. He's detecting. You see how rapidly that went up? That's very cool. Taking point. Okay, let's do something. Let's just do something like this. For now. Is this good enough? I'm not sure. Cover types. Red indicates uh, positions that are flanked by enemies. Stars indicate the cover can be destroyed by things like shotguns and explosives. That's actually such a cool mechanic. I've not seen something like that in games before. I love that. That is very cool. Okay. I'm not looking to move from here necessarily, but we'll take it. I don't love that I'm in, uh, I don't love that I'm in half cover there. But, by the same token, you know, not a lot of options. So the Crushers, the Crushers we can one-shot. The Scout's a little bit tankier. Funny enough, you would think it might be the opposite based on the name. Don't love that. Okay, wow, super lucky shot. Yeah, seriously. Okay, so we have this other weapon, this tactical disc. Uh, you can see the, um, I guess this is damage here, rounds, and like, I'm not sure, we're gonna have to check what that one is. But let's try this. Bouncer weapons. Bouncer type weapons can bounce off environment objects to bypass covers. These weapons also gain a higher critical chance shot, uh, chance shot percentage based on the amount of bounces the projectile makes. This comes at the cost of accuracy. Oh, very cool. We saw something similar to that in, um, was it Hard West 2? I think we could ricochet off of stuff. Oh my god. Okay, so... I'm I'm using this to angle my shot. Now, you see this line? Like, I'm just in control of direct aiming now. That is very neat. Look at that. I could do, like, a double bounce to hit that tadpole crusher at the top. 80% chance. I This is the guy I need to deal with. But should we just, for style points, try a 90? <laughs> That's insanely cool. Okay. That is very cool. Let's move down here. We still have a 71. I don't hate that. If you're not if you're not believing in 70%, then like what do you what are you really gonna believe in? Okay. A couple of lucky shots there. So this requires a reload. Hold on a sec! So this is going to be much more ideal if you're not uh, going to be moving as much. So if I shoot direct on, it's 100%, 5% to crit. But if I bounce, it's 20. 25%. Very, very cool. I love this. And the way that they've got the targeting feels very intuitive. Like, you can just kind of check things out, you know? I was looking to maybe get an extra bounce off that wall. But let's see if we can get the crit. Unfortunately, massive fail. Um, this guy could probably just come down here and then flank us. So... Let's maybe take a position back here. Now you can see this cover can be blown up. 98. Wouldn't miss a 98. Critical, nice. Okay, so... On criticals, is that that restores the AP? 
Or is it only on critical kills? I don't know, I don't know. But we'll learn, we'll figure it out. Um, we don't have Overwatch yet. Let's just maybe get a reload in here. Or I could move to like a safer cover. Let's go here. Oh, hey, jeez. You know Holy moly, bro. Are you kidding? We're getting knocked around here today. Miasma, hear my prayer. Miasma, heal, hear my prayer. That's, that's awesome. Look at these bounces. See, that's the other thing too, like, even if you don't have a shot, you, you can, you can make a shot. This is an 80, that's still reasonable. Got Hell yeah, curveball. Dude, that is very cool. I'm impressed. Let's pick up this stuff. Um, so what I want to check, let's look at the disc here. So, okay, 40 is the damage, uh, the skull is critical damage. And then we had the uh, the ammo showing as well. Now, we have the range on this, which I think is good. Health-wise, we're going to have to do some, some patching up here. There's also a rage meter that we are going to need to learn about. And in the skill deck, uh, he can be used as high cover. That's fine. I kind of want to learn about the, um, the critting there. Does that show up in here at all? Doesn't look like it. You're welcome, by the way. You could have also been shooting. Energy cell. Okay, support item. Throw to recover party members' kilowatts. A battery module, once used by the originals to power technological items. Use this to refill a party member's kilowatts reserves. Can be thrown during combat, area of effect, or used outside of combat via the backpack screen. He has saved my life. Hey, you're Bamati's boy, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. You better get back to sedentary. Like that, safer? Your ma used to protect our town. You know that? Without her magic, I don't know how we're gonna keep this evil from killing us. As sure as night turns to day, old man, we're gonna find her. Yeah? Then you're gonna need my backpack. I got a frag grenade and medipod inside. Hmm. Guess you're saving our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Much obliged, old time. Much obliged. Okay, so now we have access to the backpack in combat. There we go. I was wondering, like... I was wondering if these consumables were coming up. I wasn't sure how to use them. Contains all the consumable items you found. You can also access and use healing items from the backpack screen when not in combat. Which is probably something we should do now. Uh, let's Medipod here. So this is plus 60 on him. It's only plus... Oh, I see. Okay, so it goes up to 20. It's just showing you the amount... Uh, that is needed to heal. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll hold that one. We'll see if I end up regretting that massively. Don't, don't you worry about me. Just getting my breath back. All right, buddy. Well, you holler if something comes up. I, just, I, I love punching these things down. That's very satisfying. Is this off limits? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get in there. Archive net data. Uh, Mike and Sandy Graham proudly stand in the mouth of their family business, the Gator Zone. We walked through that on the way in. Uh, they took the once floundering local attraction and turned it into a blooming business. The Grahams believe their good fortune is a direct result of the great stability that gives people more time to spend on the things they love. Local wildlife has also returned to the area. Look at those pelicans fly. We hope you make a return visit to the family favorite, Gator Zone. Oh yeah. Okay, I want to check outside. Yeah. Because we need to be looking for these things all the time.
any way that we can climb. Oh, what is all of this, I wonder? Let's just check in here quick. And we'll check these back areas before we move towards where we need to. They seem to be scattering a lot of things to pick up uh, if you're willing to put the time in to explore, so... It's a keypad. Okay, we need some kind of code. And that's not even the way we're going, so that's got me excited. Oh, here we go, maybe. New keypad works perfectly. Thanks for getting installed so fast. We should really get rid of or at least disable the old pad. It won't be long before a curious visitor works out the sequence. Huh. A curious visitor works out the sequence. See, now I'm thinking you'd maybe see, like, smudges or something here, but, like... Interesting. Okay, so we need to... We need to find... Let's join back up. A code. The originals fought these monsters in a great war. History repeats, I guess. Frag grenade here. Throw to generate explosive damage, AoE. Sometimes when exploring old buildings or underground storehouses, boxes of grenades can be found. Most are rusted to heck, but every so often a good one is found. These are useful for damaging enemies and covers. Okay, that we can't break. Huh. What do we think that could be? How sick would that be? There's no, like, weird markings there that I can see. I do feel like we'll probably find this at some point. Um, archive here. The new keypad works perfectly. Thanks for getting Are these it all so voiced? Fast. We really should get rid of, or at least disable, the old pad. It won't be long before a curious visitor works out the sequence. Sam Over the course of Oh my god, these are all voiced! That is incredible. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know that. Okay, so it wants to take us back through there. I guess we'll just keep an eye out for some type of code situation, and then we know where that door is, so... We're going into the raptor section. God damn! There's no wow. end to these bastards! We gotta take them down. Hold on now. I see a torque jammer. We can't fix your glove without it. Ah, time to shine, little brother. Let's give her. Now, can we get maybe some high ground stuff going here? I'm going to see if we have a way up. Much smaller detection range when we were just exploring uh, while crouched. Gorg the Great. After falling into Tregul's bad graces, the self-titled Gorg the Great has been given the lowly job of training tadpoles in this relatively safe spot, a task which he bitterly resents. He secretly prays that they'll fall victim to the gator so he can leave. Spawns additional tribe members? Okay. And can leap up one level without the need for ladders. That's something we haven't seen them do quite yet. Regroup. Over here. I guess I gotta unhide him to regroup. Here. There's gotta be a way up to this one, right? Get in the trees. We're gonna Scouting split ahead. up. I'm going to see about 
taking cover on the tree here. It's right here. Oh yeah, buddy. This is what we want. We're gonna bring him up as well. So the scout behind us, little bit annoying, I suppose. Okay, now the question I have is, can we bounce off, can we bounce um, off of enemies? Oh, what? Uh oh, I wonder. Okay, so it seems like you have to be on the same level to use that gun. That's what it seems like. Is he? He better be in that. He wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't in that. So let's look at this weapon again. Yeah, okay. So you can only bounce off of things on the same plane as you. That's fair. That'd probably be a little too strong. If that weren't the case. Well, let's wait and see what that guy does behind us. Down for the count. Ah, tiger tub. Oh, he just spawns him in like just Get anywhere. Those frogs bunch up, pop him with a grenade. Dig into that old timer's backpack. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Cost an action point. That's fine. Yeah, the problem with that is... <laughs> the problem's obvious. Let's take this. Um, let's look in the backpack here. Frag grenade. Yeah, sh let's just let her rip here. It's not amazing, but it'll do. And then I need 50, so I have enough here. Go to sleep. Look at Should probably have reloaded there, but... Dang. Okay, now we need to focus these back too. We've kind of put ourselves in, yes, we have the high ground, that's great, but this is also not that great. Only 18% there. Um, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna move to here. It's gonna keep him out of visual range, it looks like, unless this guy comes up into this under section. And then let's do a... What else do we have in here? Medipod. Grenades. Okay. Let's do a reload. I do not like my chances at all. Let's overwatch here. So if he comes off that tree, I'll be on watch. we should have a better chance. Yep. And he does see him. Okay. I made I made an assumption there. It was a bad assumption.
Okay. I have a bit of a situation. I didn't mean to move to where I moved, so I live here now. I'm gonna drop here. Step a little closer. Let me get a better look at your ugly ass. And we're going to heal ourselves. Juiced up and ready to rock. And then these guys could just come up and shoot me here, flanked. So I think I'm gonna take this. A little bit of a misstep. We can get out of this. Yeah, that's that's the problem. If we don't deal with him, this is going to get very overwhelming very quick. But I have the disc launcher now. So that's something. We do need to kind of kite a bit here. We'll take this shot. It's closer. And then... We'll take this. Okay, Elvis. Rage plus done. ten. You, my friend, are pure dynamite. Man. That was low. Not really too good. <laughs> okay. I think I need to stay in this cover. But it looks like you cannot bounce off of enemies. That would probably be too strong. How can I take these guys both out? This is how. Oh, really, bro? So you can see how the... How the um, circle sort of works is you go on the extremes of that inner cross section so like five tiles wide okay digs could be in a little bit of a situation here okay sunshine i'm right here do your worst Um, I think we need to go Medipod with him. And then how much, how much damage does the grenade do? Enough. Okay. So, let's Medipod. Ah, don't count me out yet. And then I have to grenade this, unfortunately. Don't move, a-hole. No. Whoa. I just killed like a lot Enraged. Yeah! So we don't know what that means. Interesting. Let's overwatch. I assume the red means we don't have sight there, and the blue is what we're actually seeing. So that means if this guy does move, we won't get a shot until there. And same thing here. So we don't shoot through the doors or anything? Okay. It's a bit scary. What's my alternative here? 
My alternative is this. My buddy's in the way, unfortunately. I look- I need to look for a hit somewhere. Okay, so all of these things at, like, waist height are blockers. Look at that. 80%. Oh! Critical kill, double XP, AP restored. Okay, so if you get a kill with crit, it seems like you get an extra shot. Let's swap the weapon here. I mean, I guess he could go inside. He's more likely to come down here. Maybe I should have just ran. He didn't move. He's petrified. He's petrified. Okay. This cover position here, this wall for some reason isn't cover, which is concerning. Um... I guess we're going to kind of dash out here. And then... I could use his cover. Let's look here. I'm just curious to see if we can shoot through here, but I I'm guessing no. And Overwatch has a cooldown as well, I'm seeing. Okay, so from here, I'm not going to be able to do much of anything. Let's just reload the tactical disc. Everybody wait a sec so I can reload. Oh, damn. I have a shot from here. It's not amazing. Oh, actually, this is better. Kiss my That's a beautiful tail, flank. Dumb son of a bitch. Okay. Let's give him hell. We'll absolutely take that 100. Swap our weapon here. Now, I don't have a visual from there. But I need to have the full cover. Like, there's no... No negotiating that for me. So I guess that's all I can really do here. Okay. Skip turn. I'll be right here. <sighs> We're dancing. We're dancing. I have a shot there, but I don't have ammo. So let's just reload I here. Boom, boom. I need more boom boom. Love it. Love it. Buddy. Love it. We'll take the half. And I think what we're going to do here... I could take the I could take the tactical disc shot. Yes, I could. Man, I just where do I have like I just don't have good full cover anywhere except for right here and that's not ideal cuz he could easily reach me. Um He could easily reach me there. I think a big, fat, tactical retreat is in order. Let's see. I don't think he'll be able to reach me. Okay. He's dealing 50. You see that? That's a problem. Big time. Look at these bounces, man. You see that? Hold on. Look at the bounce. 80%. 45 to crit. Did that hit? 
<laughs> that is so cool. Okay, but now I'm in like... Now we're... This is very scary. They're both basically one shot from dead. And I don't know what happens then, but I don't know if I want to find out. Do I just put him into full here and hope he misses? People have not been missing. He's reloading. Woo, he missed, baby. We'll take that. We will take that. Yes, we will. Elvis, you want to do something cool here? Time to reload. I made this harder on myself. Um, that is clear. I just love these bounces, man. That's awesome. I see an 80 there. There's a 90. Wow. You all right? Yeah, barely. You? I can do this all week. How about we grab this thing and go home, okay? Sweet. Farley crit round. It's a magazine upgrade. Increases weapon crit damage by 20. Mod from the controversial Varl E weapons tech foundations for the socially advantaged. According to this, to the label, this adds hardened tungsten rounds that will drop a bull elephant in one shot. What the hell is an elephant, by the way? <laughs> all right, sick. Loot's only visible while exploring in real time. Make sure to search the battlefield after each combat for valuable items. Got it, got it, got it. Um, okay. So crit damage here is at 70. If we were to modify this. Increases crit damage by 20. Now, do we have... Do we see, like, crit percentages or anything? Adds 10% crit chance when flanking. So, um, Yes. Add 20% crit chance with a penalty of 10% chance per bounce. So, realistically, this thing should... We should be able to get more crits on the tactical disc, I would say. If we're bouncing at all. But we are kind of all in on this one weapon. Which is fine. It's really powerful. So, I'm not going to feel too bad about it. Um, but now... Oh, look at that. Look at the... Crocodile. Or gator, I guess. I guess it's a gator, isn't it? The problem is we need to heal. You must be this tall to ride. Looks like you're sitting this one out, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Funny. Someone locked the gate to Old Town Road. And probably for the best. Okay. So remember, we're also looking for a code for that previous area. Something to keep in mind. Oh, what is... Oh. Looks like they were roasting weenies up here. Good way into whatever this might be, by chance? Nope. So we can't walk down to these areas in case you're wondering. These are blocked. I think we got everything. Diggs, you were right. A torque jammer. Rusty, but it'll do. Demands respect. Not just for the fact it will twist your thumbs clean off if incorrectly calibrated, but also for its overall visual appeal. Map screen. You can fast travel at any time to unlock locations from the map screen. Um, we could do that. I just... I want to go back and see if we can figure out that code. It's possible that it's like written on a wall or something somewhere.
I think I might have this. I'm noticing this thing is actually switching. And I think it's counting the numbers. Watch. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, six, one, two, three, four, two, six, four. Oh, so it, the hint was on the keypad the whole time. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, cool. Today is my lucky day. Treasure. Number 12 of 17. So this gives us experience, it looks like. Um, the original stored valuable drinks and other preserved foods in basements beneath their homes. They believe that aging the liquid inside each bottle would raise them to the upper echelons of society. This bottle of fine cola has been unopened since its creation in 2029. And I bet you this weapon, whatever it is, well, slap me sideways. a shoddy. Hell yeah. 15% crit chance per target, so it's an AoE. Okay. The negotiator makes the point was Killer Knox Corporation's promotional tagline. Legends has it the disgruntled senior executive at the company took this quote quite literally during a fatal boardroom meeting. Well, I, I think it's pretty clear who's going to carry this one. So, let's do that. Um, now... Crit damage is 60. The um, the thing that we have here increases weapon crit by 20. Uh, I don't know which is going to be easier. I feel like the bounces might still be easier. I guess it depends, like, if enemies are going to be stacked up. But Okay, so let's look at our map here. And I guess we're going to go back to sedentary. That was really cool, man. There's some neat stuff happening here. I dig it. Let's get this torque jammer to Bertha. You be a goop. Now, do we... Are we healed? Okay, we're not. I don't know if we heal over time or if we have to rest, because... That could get scary. You should get back in the mine where you belong, bot. Oh, is that what these guys were made for? What to mine? What in Shaft D still feels wrong, all right? But we gotta accept the hardship. Accept the hardship? My brother's dead, and no one's telling me why. We're in the process of finding that out. I, I know it's going to take a long time to heal, but... How did they die? We don't have substantial info oh. to present at this time. Something happened at right? the mine. Nobody knows? So, if there's no more questions, <laughs> I need everyone this to guy. get to work. But it's not safe down there. Shaft A is as safe as a mine is ever going to be. What are we going to talk about labor conditions? We're working 17-hour days. Yeah, we got holes in our boots. We're sleeping standing up. The mayor thanks everyone for their hard work during this difficult time. Let's just get this going. Twelve miners die in Shaft D, and you tell us to get back to work. I this. Yeah, that, that's rough. I feel that. Franchise towns. Okay, so not all of them can be read. You can see here, like, the ones that you... All these cool ones could have been read to us. That's fine. It's good practice. Uh, okay. So the first family's running these things called franchise towns. These towns are basically workforces that sweat every day to make the family rich. The family plays like they're great benefactors, but that's a lie. We work for food scraps and broken supplies. Shit deal overall, especially if one day we decide to stop working. Cool. Um, there are some additional things here about um, sedentary, and I should probably go through these at some point. Um, but this is probably stuff we've learned just by being in those areas. The cola, all of the tutorials, the archive. Pack deal's gone. What do you mean, pack deal's gone? I can't get anybody on the radio. It was an accident. Who said Oh, anybody? this was the car that we ruined. I didn't mean to blast Bertha's car. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, your glove misfired, I know. The glove did that. That's insane. No, she's understandably uh, pissed. Don't call me crazy. I'm not crazy. It grabbed him and dragged him into the miasma. I'm real sorry a gator grabbed your husband. I really am. 
I told you this was no gator. It was walking on two legs, wearing a Yeah, it was the frogs, man. But I'm thinking gators don't wear loincloths. <laughs> don't you go thinking on me, Waylon. <clears throat> we got to go out there and look for him. I don't want to go out there. He is my husband. Don't you understand that? I do understand that, but ugh, his blood is going to be on your hands. Oh, all the ghosts in hell strike me where I stand. Don't be summoning ghosts now. Oh, I can't take it no more. The angels all left sedentary. Only devils left here. Let me, let me just come up with a plan, okay? Don't get crazy now. I kind of love the little side conversations that are happening here. God damn it. Here's that torque jammer, Bertha. Just like we promised. Hey, hey. Took you a while. Thought somebody killed you, boys. And me and Elvis, we don't kill easily. Deal's a deal. Here's a power core. Don't blow yourself up now. No, we only blow up vehicles here. Now let's go touch that wall again for the 38th Rock time. Roll. Say, where'd you get that glove? My mama gave it to me. Want to sell it? <laughs> Not in a hundred lifetimes. Thanks, Bertha. Thank you right back. Store's open to you boys anytime. The shotguns all have 69 on them. Nice. We fixed the glove, uh, plus we can buy and sell stuff again. Let's tell the mayor. And we got skillies. Power cores. Oh, okay. Oh. So these have actual applications here. Move range. Huh. Do you you can use it as well? I feel like getting him around is probably the ideal situation if we have the bouncer on uh Elvis. So we'll try that. Just received a power core. They grant different gameplay bonuses for you to mix and match. You can edit your power cores from the party screen, which we've done. Nasty weather. We fixed the glove, plus we can buy and sell stuff. Let's tell the mayor. No problem. We've got some skill points. We already know uh, one of them that we want to get over here. We're going to unlock the Overwatch. Wait, why can't I get there? Uh, why can't... Oh, because I only have one. I have to save two to get the Overwatch there. Uh, maybe I should just get Sprint and Shoot here. So he can, like, run and gun with his shotgun. And we can get Overwatch later. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so here we could take Health. We could take Armor Eater. We haven't seen Armor. Obviously, we're going to see Armor at some point. Um... But let's take a little bit of health here, because we're pretty fragile. And look, now we are fully healed up as well, so that's cool. Okay, let's see what she sells. I hear y'all ripping shit up out there. Oh, we're Good ripping shit, all right. How can I help? Okay. So we can afford some of these things. 10% crit chance shooting from high ground. Extends weapon range by 20%. 10% crit chance versus miasma. It's interesting. Let's go, um, weapon range here. I aim to satisfy. Oh, wait a sec. Is this... This is how much money I have? Is this the plastic that I'm picking up? I think so. I think so. I better grab a Metapod. Oh, yours. Yeah, okay. We got knockers here, knockback grenades, napalm death cans. I'm gonna be a little cautious here. I'm gonna grab metapods. What else you need? Look at this expensive one here. Increases magazine size by one. Okay, I think we'll we'll save Bye -bye the rest. Now. And Welcome what kind of things can we sell? Everything. Better than the fake shitty Berthas. Dude, this is cool. Yeah. Okay. Later. That core working. Like a dream. Let's get back to the mayor. Yeah, by the way, I put it in you, Diggs, if you're not paying attention. Ah, my 
Oh, don't want to hear it. Eating dog. Where did the thing go? You get a taste for it yet? For what? Come on, man. Smoke sticks. Back easy. Not for me. That's a gateway drug. Shh. Gateway to what? Ain't no drugs left in this town. I'll get heard Caleb keeps some cool stuff back here. Too oh, yeah. It's locked. Too bad it's locked, hey? Yeah, too bad. Too bad I can't rip this fence down. Oh, I see where it is. I see where it is. So what if I do drink too much moonshine? Need to get in here. Collection day's coming. Hate these first family bastards. Well, to survive, the town had to make a deal with the devil. Well, these devils are squeezing the town dry. Wish I could do something about it. So the, this is like the contributions of the town to those people? They're gonna come take that, I guess? Interesting. Cut that glove working, boy. It's working, May. You're not a second too soon. Gator Zone's crawling with monsters. Why the hell were you in Gator Zone? This brainless pot dragon? Uh, brains is all you got, Jarhead. <laughs> Elvis, I hit the jackpot. Found an encrypted file in your mama's data drive. It's all about increasing your glove's power. Hell yeah. What's it say? Well, that's the problem. I can't understand a goddamn lick of it. Read this. To heal the miasma and pay our debts, absorb the anger of a wild vortex. In return, the miasma gives an editor a reward. Power for your glove and balance restored. Some kind of riddle. You know what she means? Heal the miasma. Editor? I don't get it. Me neither. What's a vortex? Damn it. Trying to figure out miasma is like punching a tornado. <laughs> tornado? Hold on. Near the wall, we saw some angry miasma. Yes. Yeah, swirling around. The thing we tried to approach. Like a vortex. The glove was pulling me to it like it wanted to grab it. Maybe it did. You should go investigate. Could be the key to everything. But the frogs are out there too. Could be dangerous. Want to see danger? You looking at him, old man? Elvis, clock's ticking. Let's go. Yeah, cool. We got this, Mayor. Godspeed. I'll keep digging through these files for more clues. Excellent. Love that. Okay, so we're going to head back to the uh, vortex area that's going to be where we came from, which is going to be this way. Don't care how many elections Mayor Mason steals, he'll always get my vote. My Don't care how many elections he steals, he's always getting my vote? Dude, that's funny. Okay, so I guess we can just jump to the miasma wall here. Uh, let's do it. Remember that weird vortex we spotted near the miasma wall? The mayor thinks it could somehow upgrade the glove. We're going to head back there and put it, the theory to the test. Guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're digging this. This is very cool. I'm recording this about an hour after I uploaded the first episode. You guys, <laughs> the numbers were like very positive. So thank you so much for that. Uh, if you guys enjoy these videos, if you could just like them, share them with friends. That's the best thing you could do. If you're new here and you're not subbed yet, uh, consider it. I would love to have you. I play a lot of games like this, so... Uh, Hopefully you enjoy. See you soon. Bye.